thing I want to cover is finding the reference angle. So the reference angle, A, guys, is the acute positive angle between the x-axis and the terminal side. So hopefully we're going to get to a point, guys, where we're not going to have to sketch the angles. You guys can kind of like do that intuitively on your own. But I know angles are still a little, you know, getting used to for right now. So let's go and sketch this so we can visually see what's going on. 125 degrees. We know halfway around the circle is 180, right? Here's 90. There's 180. So 125 is like roughly right there. Would you guys agree with me? Theta equals 125. That looks about right. Correct? Would everybody at least agree with that? OK. So the reference angle is the angle that's between the x-axis and the terminal side. Now, reference angles are always positive, so we don't care about direction. Okay, Don't really care about the arrow. This arrow is important because that's telling us it's a positive. Reference angles, we're not really concerned about that. It's always going to be positive. Um, so therefore, we could say theta prime. Now, let's think about this, guys. I mean, we could give you examples. But if we go from here to here is 125, and I know that from here to here is 180, how far do I got to go to get to 180 if I'm at 125? All right, 180 minus 125, which is close? 55. Wait, what did you say? Theta prime equals 55 degrees. OK? So then how far do you got to go from here to here? To be 55 degrees. Oh, from 125 to 180. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's gonna be 55 degrees. Is everybody? Yes. Is beta prime always 55 degrees? No, no, no. Beta prime, theta prime, is just the representation of the reference angle. Okay. All right. So degrees. Usually people are okay with that. And then.